So here we are at the Roman bathhouse. Now this is interesting because Herod was king of the Jews of Judea, but he was also very Roman. And his sect, the priests or the Sadducees, allied themselves with the Romans. So not only did he have to appease the masses of Jews, that's why he rebuilds the temple the way he does, but he also has to appease his Roman allies. And one of the things the Romans liked to do is go to the bathhouse. It was the golf course of the day. And here he builds a bathhouse, exactly as the Romans would build it, except for one thing I'm gonna show you in a bit. But so here in this model, we can see your typical Roman bathhouse as we see here. We have the palestrum, uh, or palestias, which means place of wrestling. It's actually a play on the word wrestler, palestias. That's, that's the root of Palestine, actually, which is a translation of Israel, wrestler of God. So we have the palestrum, we have the frigidarium, which is where there was cold water, wasn't really cold, but if you keep water here in a plastered cistern in the shade, it feels cold. You have the tepidarium that we're gonna go into in a second, which is the warm room. And of course you have the caldarium. There was a cauldron outside where they would boil the water, heat the wall and floors, and that's where you would have um, a spritz. So let's go check out the bathhouse. So here we are in the tepidarium in the Roman bathhouse, in King Herod's Roman bathhouse. You can see there's a couple of uh, uh, park rangers here doing some uh, preservation work. And what we have here, it's, it's kind of a mix of eras. Originally it was a tepidarium where the ancient Romans and, and their Jewish allies like King Herod, they would go into the cold room, the frigidarium, and then the warm room, and then the hot room, and then back again in the frigidarium. And it was part of this healing ritual. Here you can see there are benches here. We're not sure what era they're from. The benches actually may be from 100 years after King Herod. Uh, we see the frescoes, again, without any graven images in them. So we think that's from the time of King Herod. Being a Sadducee, he wouldn't have had any images uh, in his artwork. But here we have to, to my right, we have this interesting addition to the tepidarium. It's a pool and there's controversy whether it's just a pool that the zealots built to keep cool in, or to bathe in or whether it was uh, a mikvah, a Jewish ritual bath. It doesn't have three chambers like some uh, uh, another ritual bath that, that we have found up here on Masada, which is halachically a kosher a Jewish ritual bath. This one does not have the three chambers, so it's, it's controversial what its uh, status is. Um, but it's amazing that the frescoes are still vivid, that some of the tile floors still exist. And uh, our next stop is the caldarium. So here we are inside King Herod's bathhouse on top of Masada, and there are several rooms up here. This is the caldarium. Cauldron was out behind what's today plastic. There was an oven there where they had a cauldron, and that's where the name of the room comes from, where they would heat the water. They would spill the water in a pipe, a clay pipe that would come out of that hole there. It would go down below the floor, and we can see that there's all these pillars uh, that would separate uh, the two floors. And the water would circulate hot, boiling hot water, circulate around the pillars. And here we can see this reconstruction where the steam would rise through those pipes inside the walls. So this was not a steam room, it was a hot room. The floors would heat up and the walls would heat up. And you'd come in here for a schwitz, okay? And you'd sweat and there would be cold water baths. There was one right there. And what's interesting is that this bathhouse was built with an apse. And we can see an apse over there. What is an apse for? Where do we have apses? Well, we have apses in temples, pagan temples, and we have apses in churches. In the pagan temples, you would have an idol. When the Roman Empire became the Byzantine Empire, Christian Empire, they replaced the idols with 
uh, crucifixes with Jesus. Okay, but what, this is Roman time, so what would be where the apse is today? A statue to Aphrodite. Would the Jews come into a bathhouse if there's a, a, an idol to Aphrodite? I don't think so. So they built this as a Roman bath, but they didn't find any remains of this statue of Aphrodite. Maybe the zealots, uh, after they took over the, the, the mountain, smashed it to pieces, but we still find no remnants of it. So most likely Herod had a Roman architect build, build your typical Roman bath, but never put the idol inside.